Do we? Let's start with. Uh, let's start by doing a bricks plodes tonight. Um, so we'll haul out the bricks, and uh, who would like? I I'd like to read to start off. Uh, would somebody like to build? We'll do a short run, uh, maybe 20, 25 minutes. Would anyone like to build? I'll build before I leave. Great. Peach is going to build. I'm going to read for Peach. Uh, let's get set up. <laughs> okay, Harry jumping through the... <laughs> or at least trying to jump yeah. through the hoop. Harry's more <laughs> agile than I thought. <laughs> it's great. Here's some bricks happening. There's no, that was my knees. Oh, oh that's the crack. Yeah. <laughs> all that you might have assembled them wrong. <laughs> Did you check the instructions? Where's the brick remover tool? There was someone else reading the instructions for you. That's what we're building. Replacement knees. <laughs> so, I'm going to sit over here and read. I'm in the stage friend zone, which means that Kevin can kind of pick me up. That might be a, a good option as well. Uh, and I'm, I do not have a feed except for what I can see on, I do have a feed. I'm not going to look at the screen because I, I don't want to cheat. I do need a pen. I'm, boy, am I good at this. <laughs> and, and I believe we left off here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Matthews. My pleasure. Uh, and can we get timers on the lower thirds again? Do we have the ability to put up a timer for 25 minutes? I do not know, so I ask. Jesus. <laughs> this timer brought to you. You know what? I was warned me. about that, and I still <laughs> was caught off guard about that. Expecting so. the sound effect. Cool. The sound effect is pleasing to me. We can put uh, we can put twenty minutes up on a timer, um, and then if we decide we want to go to an extra five minutes or so past, we can figure that out too. Uh, Peach, can you hear me? Okay. I can. All right, so we are starting, uh, we're starting number 16. Uh, you're going to need eight pieces for this. Sure. You need uh, two of the following. A one-pip plate. Okay. You need two of the following. Uh, these are all in teal, by the way. Yeah, I was about to ask you. Sorry. You these are all in teal, because there's so many teal pieces. A two by four pit plate. Two yes. of those. Gotcha. Two you, of those. You need two teal, two by four bricks. I have found. Oh, bricks. Okay. Got those two. You need. You need a one by three single step arch with a smooth top. One by three single step uh, arch with a smooth top. It'll be yes. one, one by three on the bottom. You'll need two of those. Okay. Time for a sub-assembly. Okay. Orient one of your, you split these into, into two groups. Okay. Of one, one of each part each, and just only gonna work with one individual of each part, right? So, starting with your, starting with uh, your two by four brick, orient that horizontally. Take the two by four plate and cover the uh, cover the two by three of the brick that's on the eastmost side. You're going to leave the two pips on the westmost side open, uncovered. Okay. Take your arch. Okay. Uh, Place it. Wait, why would you do that? <laughs> what? Why would because you do you that? Told to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Take your take your single pit. Okay. Place that over the uh, southwest exposed pit on your two by four brick. Okay. Okay. So you should kind of have seven pips covered of that brick, and there's one exposed. I believe I do. Great. You want to take your arch. And you want to put the 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 step down of that arch on the topmost exposed pip, uh, so that uh, and you want to use the other part of the arch to cover the 
two pips that are on the plate that's above the that's okay. yes. Satisfying quick so God, that that was a miserable explanation, Peach. <laughs> I'm so sorry I did that to you. It's not so bad. Okay. So you should have it you should have the thing organized so that it is a um, so that you have a two by four brick that is horizontal, mm -hmm. right? And then you have um, on the on the bottom four of those pips, you should have a uh, you should have the uh, single pip, and then three pips worth of that uh, plate with an overhang at the at that side, right? Yeah. So yeah. The fourth one overhang. Correct. Yeah. So what you want to do now is you want to make a mirror version of this. Uh, that's the same thing. So you're going to place the horizontal. Uh, you're going to you take your other two by four brick and place it horizontally as well. You're going to cover the uh, two by three of the westmost pips to leave the two eastmost pips uncovered. And then you're going to place the um, single pip on the southeastmost pip. Do you follow? Yes, I did grab one of the one uh, one by one uh, plates, but I fixed this. Go ahead. Great. So you're creating basically two mirror imaged pieces to each other. If they're both horizontal, they should both be, like there should be a mirror between the two um, that goes down the, the, if you put a mirror down the middle, they would look, they, they would be a mirror of each other um, on, a, on a horizontal flip, essentially. Yes. Yes, so your arches are on the northmost part and you're, uh, and leaving, you have a row of five on the southmost part on both of them. Yeah. I will take it for granted that, that my explanations were probably just fine, and I'm just making this more complicated than it should be. That's okay. Step 17. You need six parts. You need two one by one, two red single pip plates that have hollow pips on either side. I have these. You need four teal one by two plates with hollow pips on both sides. Okay. You have two red and four teal, is that correct? Yes. Great, okay, so we're gonna make L's out of these. Okay. Here's, here's how this is gonna work. Take your big assembly you have with the big dark green piece in the middle. This thing, I believe, is it, yes. Okay, orient it so that the yellow grabby hand is facing you. It is. Great, uh, the red plate is facing, the, there's a, yeah, the, the, red, the yellow grabby hand is facing you. Okay, let's, let's keep it simple, Peach. We're gonna do this just fine. Take one of your uh, teal one by twos. Okay. I need you to place it in the on top of a two by four brick because that's facing that's like an upside down brick. Uh, okay. On the on the bottom of that upside down brick, I need you to cover the uh, southwestmost pip with that. I'd like orient it vertically. And make it so it plugs into the southwestmost pip, and then the the or the 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 pop. Were we calling them pops? Uh, I've heard pips and pops before. Sure. That sounds that sounds crummy. Your pip goes into a pop, so you're gonna orient this one by two vertically. You're gonna plug it into the southwestmost pop, and also the one above it, so it's fitting in snug. Nothing is overhanging. It just fits in snug in the southwestmost part of the the um, two by four that's facing upwards towards you. And you're gonna pop and lock it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe yes. Molly might have been, yeah, might have come with that. Can you describe the orientation of the assembly other than the yellow part being grabby toward me? Because this is a three-dimensional object. Correct. Okay. Can you see the dark green piece? Yes. Okay. Uh, is the cannon end of the dark green piece facing towards the east? Yes. Is the yellow piece grabbing like uh, like it could grab you? It could reach. Okay. Right. Yes. Then yes. go ahead and, and repeat uh, the yes. other step, please. Awesome. In the lower left hand, the the southwest corner of the assembly, there is an upside down two by four brick. Correct. Yes. In the southwest most corner of that brick, uh, and then the uh, I want you to put a one by two oriented vertically such that both of the pips of the of the one by two plug into pops so it is a vertical plug in orient your one by two plate vertically yes plug it in is this so mm -hmm. that both pips are going into into 
Is this the extreme southwest corner of this assembly? It should be. Okay. It should be the extreme southwest corner of this assembly into that one one or into that two by four brick. Of course, the point is, is that we might be completely off track here. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've have I've done what you've said as you've said it. Great. And as I believe it. Do the same thing for the northwest corner. Do what you do. With another one by two. Mirror that. Okay. Back to the southwest corner. Take a take your one by two, turn it horizontally. Okay. I want you to make a. What the hell do we call that? I, it's like a, it's an L L shaped piece. It's, you're gonna make like a Tetris piece looking thing. Okay. Um, you're gonna go. Uh, so it's in the third pip up from the bottom. Okay. You've already covered two of those pips, so the third pip up from the bottom. Place it in so that it covers, uh, it goes into both pops uh, so that nothing is overhanging. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So you've made like a Tetris piece where it is a, it's an, it's the, the, sh the short end is pointing to the east and the long end is pointing south. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're going to go east a little bit more uh, into that one by four plate that is right next to that two by four brick. Uh, follow that, uh, follow the, uh, go, go east to pip and you're going to place your one by two red in that spot that you just went east to pip from. Um, let me see if I can explain that better. If you end up doing it, just tell me, but, um, yeah, yeah, I yeah, will. Yeah. I, I just needed to hear it again, actually. Yeah. You've got an L shaped Tetris piece. I do. Yes. Follow the short to the east, right? Uh huh. There's a one by four teal plate that's upside down. No. Oh no. Oh no. Bah. Okay. Um, mm. Did we miss a step? Shouldn't have. It's... You... We missed a step. Hooray! Woo! I'm not very smart. It's okay. Okay. Uh, whatever you've done with those pieces so far, uh, please remove those pieces I told you to just put in. two sub-assemblies and didn't put them into the main assembly. Ah. <laughs> well. I was so focused on doing that that I didn't put them where they're supposed to go. Okay. Uh, this will be a second. I need to figure out the easiest way to pivot this thing off. If you have uh, if you have that yeah orange thing yeah. out. Yeah. I spent Christmas building the typewriter and Ooh. this is way easier from what I can tell. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Do you have an exposed red end? Yes. It's a, it's like a plate, red plate. Yes. Yeah, and you have a two by four worth of uh, exposed pips. Yes. Great. And then below that, um, there's a, there's like a, there's like a slight divot, and then there's a, uh, an arch piece that has a exposed pip as well. Yes. Also above it. Yes. To the north. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So those two uh, sub assemblies you built. Do you remember? Uh, can you line them up again, so that you have them, so that you have the, uh, they're both horizontal. Same okay. way you just built them, with the uh, five, the the row of five exposed pips are on the south side. That is correct. Okay. Okay. I want you to take the one that's on your left, so the arch is like rising up from from west to east. Okay. I want you to take that one. I want you to flip it over. Mm-hmm. And the single, the one by one pip, uh, needs to fit into the uh, the empty arch pip in the main assembly just above the red thing so where that one by one pip goes it needs to go into there the arch needs to go uh from it needs to rise well it's going to technically drop because it's going to be upside down um and it's going from uh north to south like it's uh, god how am i going to explain this oh i know i know okay uh peach yeah take that Assembly, the left one that I that you built. Uh huh. Right. Uh, I need you to. It's currently inverted in my hand. Okay, it's inverted in your hand. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, is the. Are the two pips the t the t the two exposed like the are the um the plate 
The yes. tongue of the plate. Yes. Is that facing south? No. Face the if it is inverted in your hand, so the arch is now like up. Like you're, what you're seeing is the two by four brick um, facing up. I need you to orient it so that the the tongue of the of the of the plate is facing south. That is now uh, how it is. Okay. Then I need you to cover uh, the the four exposed the the two by two square of that plate that is exposed needs to cover the it, it needs to cover four pips a four a four pip square of the red plate oh okay uh, at the top side of it yes i believe i know what you mean by top side that'll also North. mean that that North. one of the that the one by one pip uh on that sub assembly you're holding will also plug into that arch the yeah. ex le the last exposed arch pip yes okay same thing for the other assembly, but now upside down. Me or the, the piece? Uh, flip the subassembly upside down. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Orient it so it is it is the mirror image. Yes. And plug it into that red the and plug it into the red thing as well. So those are both oriented vertically. they they've covered the red plate. They have. Thank you. Let's move on to step 17. Okay. You need those two red one by ones uh, with pips on both sides and the four teal two by ones plates with, with pips on both sides. Yep. You have those? Yes. Okay. On the, on the uh, southwest corner of the two by four brick, okay. um, you need to cover the southwest, take a two by two, mm -hmm. orient it vertically, or two by one, Orient it vertically, and then uh, plug it into the pops of the southwestmost corner of that teal two by four brick. Okay. Okay. So you have that. You've done that. I'm doing that, but yes. Okay. All right. That is. I found that if you use the orange, if you load things into the orange piece, you can use them to press down into stuff too. It's actually pretty good as a means of like getting those hollow pit pieces in because they're frustrating otherwise. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, take a two by one, take one of your two by one teal plates. Okay. Orient it horizontally. You're gonna make a Tetris piece. Okay. So from, so from the piece that you just plugged in, go one, pip of, one pop above that and plug this one in horizontally so you've made a you've made one of those Tetris L pieces except it's not an L it's the it's the Waduigi L it's the yeah yeah that's what it is it's the Waduigi L I've been looking at it like what is this thing okay hey Beach yeah does it matter which side of the uh, the teal thing I'm, I've put up or down uh no it should not no your teal plates can go in either way all right yep um the now follow the Waluigi L that you've created, right? That the R that you've created, mm -hmm. Waluigi. Um, you're going to extend that short piece one more pip by taking your your single pip red plate, okay. and you're just going to extend it past one so it sits in the one by four uh, teal plate that's next to it. So you should have like a it's a five pip piece that's just like an equal an equal shaped um, L on both sides. Does that make, or an R technically, but. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mirror that for the other piece that you put in, those three pieces, make the mirror of that on, on the other thing. So you have a big L. Does take that. Take the big L? Okay. Yeah, take the big L here. <laughs> Can I request whatever music I want when I build? Cool. Andre left the room, so on his behalf, I'm going to say sure. Great. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, that's fair. I'm free to ask whatever I want. Okay. Have you performed that? I have. Great. That's step 17. Good job. Check, check. Put a hole in the thing. That's okay. You need four more pieces. Okay. Red grabby hand, yellow grabby hand. Got him. Cool. You need two teal, two teal one by two plates. 
two teal one by two plates. I have them. Cool. Uh, take a take a teal. Oh, it's probably better to do it this way, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, okay. Uh, you know the you know the red pip you just put down. Yes. You know the blue pip that's beside it. Yes. Cool. So take the yellow grabby hand and orient it the same direction as the yellow grabby hand that's currently facing you okay. in the main assembly. Uh-huh. You're going to plug that yellow grabby hand facing the same way uh, into the red pip that and the blue pip that's closest to you. Which ones? Uh, the the uh, the southmost ones. Okay. Right? Oh, you said closest to me. Yeah, yeah. That's right. The, the southmost ones. So now you should have two yellow grabby hands facing you, right? I sure do. Cool. So you know how you have a red grabby hand facing away from you? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to mirror this yellow one with a red one facing the other way. So you have red gra- grabby hands facing to the north, two yellow grabby hands facing towards you. Mm-hmm. Cool. Have you done this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cover the two exposed pips of the yellow grabby hand with the one by two teal plate. All right. I'm fumbling with pieces because of my terrible dexterity. There we go. Cover the yellow one. Cover the two exposed pips of the yellow one with the one by two teal plate. Okay, I'm doing that. The if you, crabby hands. If you, one must know where the crabby hand is there. Go ahead, Beej. Uh, cover the two exposed red pips with the one by two plate. Okay. Step 18 has been finished. Well, it is finishing. It, it is, is finishing. In, it is in the finishing state. The loop is exiting. These, these darn little pieces. I, I do love uh, the, the instructions of get the piece like a Tetris block. Yeah. Because, of course, there's a lot of Tetris. There are! <laughs> I need a Tetris L, yeah, but it's like rotated. Like the Waluigi block. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah, the Waluigi also, block. there's a minute left on the timer. Good. Well, there's... Okay. Ste- like, like a J? Step 19. <laughs> no, it's an R. <laughs> Step 19. You will need one teal... Two by six plate. Okay. We're gonna build a bridge. Okay. I want you to bridge the uh, the assembly of the of the red plate or of the, of the red hand to the yellow hand. So the red hand you just put down, the yellow hand you put down. Uh huh. You're gonna connect those two on top with this plate. You've made a bridge that kind of connects the two, holds the two in place. Presumably, yes. Yes, there we go. Cool. All right. Uh, That is step 19. Cool. Step 20. You need four pieces. Two teal one by two plates. One red four by four plate. One teal four by eight plate. Okay. Okay, flip your teal 4x8 plate over. Okay. Okay, orient it vertically. Okay. Okay. Uh, take your one. Take a 1x2 plate. Yep. Orient it horizontally. Okay. From the top of the... You're going to count down from the top of the plate, from the north of the plate. You're going to leave one row of pips, of pops open on the plate. Uh, and then you're going to cover the next two pops on the westmost side. Okay. With a horizontal plate. Yes. Okay. Now from the bottom, take another one by two plate and do that again. Leave the southmost row open, but on the next one up, you're going to cover, cover, open, open. I hope you understand what I mean. Okay. Cool. Okay. Flip your red plate upside down so that it's it is also exposed as well, right? You're mm-hmm. going to plug the. Um... The, the timer hasn't run out. Yeah, we're going to finish this. Oh, yeah. We're going to finish this step. Um, that red plate needs is going to. We need to attach it to the to the big uh, teal plate. And how we're going to do that is, uh, I need it. I need just the westmost column. Okay. Uh, and I need it equidistant from north and south, so centered, but just the westmost column is plugging into the eastmost side of that plate. Run that by me again. So you've got a you've got a uh, north-south oriented f- two, uh, four by eight teal plate. Yes. It already has two other pieces in it. Uh huh. 
on the westmost side, correct? That is correct. Great. So on the eastmost side, in the in the eastmost column of that uh, of that big teal plate. Okay. I want you to put the I want you to attach the westmost column of pips of your uh, four by four red plate. And I want you to do it so they so that there's an equal amount of space on the blue plate above and below it. So you're basically counting down like two, and you're counting up to, so it's in the center. Like it's in the center of that single center of that single column. The eastmost column. Right? Your only only four pips are gonna end up being plugged into four pops. Sure. That's I love to hear sure. That's awesome. Okay. So flip that piece over so you can see the pips. Yep. Oh god. The Okay. The one by two plates that you have placed into the uh, orient the piece so that the red is hanging off on the east side. The, the, the red is to the east. And uh, the 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 four by eight is still vertically oriented and the red is to the is all to the east. Uh, oh, east. Okay. Okay. Place this assembly such that um, the red plate is going to intersect with the uh, with the uh, green piece that has the teal two by two on top of it, and the um, and you'll th th I'll tell you how to align everything. You're gonna plug in the one by two plates that are on the bottom of the um, that are on the bottom of your subassembly. You're gonna line those up with the westmost red and yellow grabby hands, so they sit on top of the two. Uh, so they they basically sit on top of the 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 two north the northmost and southmost pieces of that of that two by six plate that you put down. It does seem to fit there. Okay. And now is the red plate covering the, uh, covering all four pips of the plate that's on top of the dark green piece? No. We have probably made that piece wrong. Yes. Okay. Run, run it by me again. Okay. Four by eight teal plate. Correct. Uh, vertically oriented, right? Yes. So uh, then you want to, let's think of it this way. Take that red piece. What is the red piece again? It's a, it's a four by four red plate. Four by four you say? Yes. Okay. What one, did, I, what did I say earlier? I heard one by four, but I also might've just like blanked out there. Oh yeah, I would've said one four by four, wouldn't I? One red four by four plate. All right. All right. Where's that go? All right, we're on the right track now. Yes. One red 4x4 four four plate. Um, it it goes on the east side of this plate. Yes. So on the eastmost column, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have, from top to bottom, from, from north to south, you're going to have empty, empty, full, 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 empty, empty. Okay. And you're just going to cover just four pips in that column. So two empty, four full, two empty. Ah. I think I've done this. Okay, put it back where it was supposed to go on the um, on on where I talked you through it before. This seems better. Okay, and that means with that it is step twenty, and that's it for the time being. You have done well. <laughs> Chat was very concerned there for a little bit. Oh, okay. They're like, oh no, that. You didn't take a four by four. Trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Sort of is. Uh, <laughs> oh, those were. That's where those went. Yay! Yay! That was fun. My current favorite uh, uh, suggestion I saw from somebody in the chat, just based on the color, is just a giant square mat. So 
Hatsune Miku hair. Right. <laughs> it's just it's just a big pixelated wig that you can put on your head. <laughs> 